Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the House of Stitch and Stash. My name is Rika and welcome to my channel. So this is video number two of this week. We're on a roll people, but um, because something came in the mail today and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys before I open it because I'm trying to contain myself not opening it, but y'all know. I've waited six weeks for this thing. Six weeks, people, six weeks. And finally it arrived. And it is my, if you guys can see, from European Cross Stitch. It is my Chatelaine. My very first Chatelaine finally arrived in the mail. And I wanted to go ahead and open it, open it with you guys and do a uh, unboxing to see um, if anybody who's interested would be interested in seeing this because I was. I know that Crafty Lisa enabled me to get my first Chatelaine and so I was like huh. From that day on I was basically watching every single Chatelaine video I could find. Everything. So I went on a binge watch because I was like what is so gorgeous. And I've always been intimidated of Chatelaine. I was thinking, that is not me. I don't think I'm ever going to stitch Chatelaine. But then she made it um, sound like it's actually doable. And people like me, who's not a very good stitcher, can do it. And so I figured this is 2018. No, where are we? Are we in 2019? 2019 is the year I Chatelaine for me. So, um... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and um, dive in. Okay, so Chatelaine, where do we start? Um, I guess we can start with what is Chatelaine, if those who are not familiar. So Chatelaine is designed by Martina Rosenberg. And um, she specializes in the beautiful mandalas. They are like gorgeous. And I know that videos and pictures online just don't do the creations justice. And so, um, but I've always been intimidated because there's specialty stitches on there or um, who is that? I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, Anita. Anita is the one who said it, that it's like um, Holly and Anita. It has gourmet stitches, which I have never done before. And so I've always been intimidated in actually purchasing one because one, they are super expensive. And it is an investment. Um, and so I was like, I don't know, because that is very expensive for me to punch it up. And so I was like, I am not gonna go and try that out. But this year, I feel like this is gonna be the year of Chatelaine for me. And so I went ahead and ordered a kit. It took me like weeks to find which one do I want to work on and which one is gonna bring me joy. And so I've looked over Instagram, um, obviously YouTube. I've watched all of Crafty Lisa's video about Chatelaine. And so if you haven't checked her out, her out I'm gonna try to link um, her channel down below. Excuse me. And so, yeah, she did a fantastic video about Chatelaine, the ordering process and all that good stuff. Um, I'm not going to really try to get into it so because she already did that. And so, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what, I, what came in my kit, the one that I ordered. So the Chatelaine that I ordered is called the Amazing Art Nouveau Lily Kaleidoscope. And um, I don't know how to do the whole like, I'm going to insert video right here. So, um... I'm gonna find. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to insert a picture of the what it's gonna be somewhere over here or in the not in the whatever slide. I'm not very savvy at this, so um, so that you guys can see what um, what it is. I'm gonna be stitching. So um, like I mentioned, it took about six weeks for my kit to arrive. Um, and I ordered it from European Cross Stitch because it is my first Chatelaine and I just didn't want to go to the hassle of trying to kit it myself because um, it looked kind of intimidating when I printed out this sheet. 
and to make it easy for me i just went ahead and ordered it from european costage and also i think everyone just basically said that they it pretty much um european costage is pretty much the cheapest way to go and do it because then you only pay one shipping as opposed to multiple shipping and trying to find the beads and embellishment all that good stuff so that's what i did and i was like well i'm just gonna wait patiently and i was hoping that it will arrive in like four weeks but no it took six weeks so it's okay i'm excited it's here and i'm gonna try to start it today <laughs> so even though um Shadowlin is not on my stitch mania plans i'm just super excited i've waited long enough and so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this today so enough talking let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing i'm gonna flip over the camera so that you guys can see everything okay oh my gosh guys so i already took it out of the package and this is how it looks like oh my gosh it's so pretty i'm so excited oh my gosh it's packaged with a cute little bow and it looks so amazing and i can't wait to um, go through it and make sure that everything is in the um the package so that if there is anything wrong that i can message kathy from european costage and let her know so yes i'm excited okay guys so let's go ahead and untie the bow my gosh it's like unwrapping a present and i've actually decided to um, change the fabric count because it came with the fabric but i decided to change it to a 28 count because i feel like the beads will lay out prettier on a 28 count and she sent me a 28 count um, Belfast linen so it's just antique white and then all this good stuff which are in floss away bags so let's start with the beads so here are the beads that came with oh my gosh look how pretty that is my goodness i've never worked on that kind of bead before and there's some diamond shim crystal right there oh my gosh my goodness i don't know <laughs> my gosh i hope i i hope i do okay and i don't i didn't finish it and then um, the items came with a Nymo thread, like this. And then, um, of course, everything is in um, a ring with the floss away bags. Oh my gosh, there's so many Karen water lilies. Oh wow. Oh my gosh let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen tw fourteen no twelve not thirteen just water lilies now i've worked with these before so because of mirabilia but the color oh my gosh it's so pretty i don't think i'm gonna actually i probably would just keep all these just like this in the ring i don't think i'm gonna remove it and then i might just put label on to see what they are but yeah oh my gosh then there's stinky dyes wow okay if you guys can't tell you all know i love pink so this is why i picked this particular one okay okay i've never worked with silk pearl before oh my gosh 
That's, um, that's so gorgeous. Then there's treasure braids. There's a lot of treasure braids. Oh, I like that she actually, there's two of these in one package. And then it's got color, different gold. Another silver one. It's like a greenish gold. And another silver. Oh wow, pink. Two of these. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Another gold. And silk lame. Never worked with silk lame. Oh my gosh. Wow. So yeah, that's it. That's everything in this package. Oh my gosh. Wish me luck, everyone. I don't know. Like, this is my very first shadow lane, and yeah. Wow. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. I have a thread right there. But. Okay, isn't that amazing? Wasn't it amazing? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited for all this good stuff. And um, the gorgeous, like the gorgeous, the colors are so gorgeous. Um, I know I showed you guys that I ordered a 28 pound linen instead of the 32. And I'm not sure if I actually like the fabric. So I have this Monaco 28 even weave from DMC that is still on the package. And so maybe I'm trying to think if I should use this instead because I think I would prefer if it's on an even weave because I like stitching an even weave. And then this way the Yeah, and I also like that it's bright white as opposed to the antique white. Let me show you guys again. So, what do y'all think? Stick with the Belfast or go for the Monaco? The Monaco is a little bit stiffer than the Belfast and obviously it's even weave. So this one has a couple of like, what do you call that? The fabric is not super even, obviously, because it's Belfast. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. So yeah, now that you've seen my unboxing, so excited um hopefully you get as excited as me and that you learned something um i would say that what i did was i ordered my pattern from the shadow line shadow line shadow lane website um and i ordered a pdf because i work from my ipad anyway and then um i went to european cross and ordered the kit so that is probably the best way to do it it's my first time so um but so far i like the whole process because then it's digital as opposed to paper because i don't like paper copy and um yeah so sorry my my tongue is red i've been i've been eating this so it's a uh, like Mexican gelato almost like it's frozen is Italian ice watermelon Italian ice and top with mango and then drizzle with chamoy syrup It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's so good. So I'm obsessed over that right now And so that's why my lips are red and tongue is red and I blame it all on my friend Julie I know Julie if you're watching Hello, and it's your fault. I blame it all on you 
And so, yeah, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video is helpful. And then I'm going to try and see if I could share with you guys my adventures um, into stitching the Chatelaine. And so, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good stitch mania. You're getting some stitching done and you're having a good week. It's almost the weekend. And if I don't see you guys before... Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, relaxing day when you are uh, with your family and your loved ones. And so, um, yeah. Anyway, I talk to you guys very soon. Bye for now.